Welcome back everybody. I want to show you how you can use switches to add interesting gameplay mechanics to your maps. So I'm on a great map here. This is the new one. Uh, this is detachment and I've got this banished switch right here set down and what I'm going to do is just go into those properties. By the way, you can add that from the gameplay and then scripting section and here's all your scriptable switches. But I'm going to go over to the object properties and towards the bottom you'll notice that there are whoops I don't have the switch selected um, you'll notice that towards the bottom there are some uh, advanced properties that you'll want to take a look at so some of these like one-time use I definitely want that to be off for this one um, also I'm not sure if these power states are currently affecting it as I have a bug right now so like let's see I don't have it the game has it but I'm experiencing this bug where I can't set really any of these and I think that's probably what a lot of you are running into because that was kind of my initial confusion around how to use these power channels well so I figured that really all we need to do is take advantage of that event right so it had mentioned there was an event called on interacted and I'm going to just dragging this over here real quick because I'm OCD about stuff like this this should be over here because this activates that so I'm gonna go into this uh, node graph right here real quick uh, I'm gonna hold Q and go to node graph I've got this on object interacted and I'm gonna add an object reference whoops it's not the object that I want so you see that it says script brain that's not what I'm looking for scriptable switch banish terminal is what I'm looking for and that's the one that we just set down so I'm gonna uh, connect this node here to this object and it's gonna say whenever you interact with this object here's the interacting player or the activating player and then you can activate different logic from there so here's my idea right what if you had something where I have this set up right now let's see with this kind of object in the way it's kind of neat uh, you see how I created like a force field sort of it's actually a piece of glass and then there's also the effect right there so my plan is why don't we just take that away and then whenever somebody runs up here and hits it they can turn that on and I thought that would be kind of like a neat little you know trick because uh, you could I mean I guess you could block somebody maybe we should put this switch like up here or something so that that way maybe like somebody could see it but it would definitely get spammed a little but basically it just totally uh, deflects you and yeah that happens so I think that would definitely be interesting to kind of work in here I thought of a couple different things like we could create force fields down here using maybe like the effects like you could kind of create like these sort of not not the energy whoops under sparks like you could kind of create these like energy fields down here you know snap this down to the ground and you could kind of like turn that on and off and damage players that are inside of this area just some cool kind of thoughts that I was having but anyways so that on interacted um, we're gonna attach uh, an event to so what I'm going to do is I know that I have this piece of glass right here and I have this effect. So I have two objects that I need to refer to. So what I'm going to do is go into my script and then I'm going to grab object references for both of those. Um, and I think, let's see, no, I didn't have it selected. I was just trying to add it real quick right there, but it wasn't already selected. So let's go into our objects and then let's see maybe this is going to be a little tricky to grab those so since that list is so big so let me grab this and then I'm going to hold Q and then I'm going to do oh can't reference static object hold on one second here um, I need to you know what I don't believe this will actually work for what I'm trying because this effect right here I think affects if I'm not mistaken those are all uh, static or no it says dynamic hold on let me let me see something 
So we'll have our energy, and then all we have to do then is just change this one. I was just worried about the energy effect not being dynamic there. So good thing, good thing it is. So there we go, add object reference. So here's both of these, and right at the beginning of the game, what I want to do is take those away. So on game start, I want to just completely delete those objects. So I know I want to do this twice. I'm going to wire this up. And wire these together. Whoops. And there we go. Looks nice. Um, okay, so right at the beginning of the game, we're going to remove those. And then whenever this is interacted with, I'm going to spawn those. So objects and then spawn objects at the bottom. It's a tricky one. I'm going to duplicate these two nodes, bring them down, attach this together, and then here's the trick. I'm going to do a 4 uh, n seconds. Sorry, that's actually a wait for n seconds. And I'm just going to wait for just a moment here. Let's wait for maybe, yeah, it should be pretty precise, right? So what about like one and a quarter second? And then after this, what I'd like to do is delete these again. <clears throat> Whoops, there we go. We could definitely use these same object references here like just stringing these together but I'm just gonna do it real quick like this I'd like to make a nice quick video um, hopefully our script brain doesn't blow up okay it didn't great or at least I don't think it did so there we go nothing there and boom there it goes so you have to be pretty quick about it but if we put that like up there we could totally block people from from jumping over here and like grabbing all these power items and yeah anyways so that's how you do that I'm gonna have uh, by the way I have had some questions about if these are public um, you can find my I don't know if you can find this through my gamer tag uh, I had one person manage to so if you just want to add me uh, like that's fine I don't care I don't mind I should say um, but uh, I'm trying to see yeah here's my gamer tag down here if you're interested um, D I N O S A P I O I D Dino Sapioid. So you can find me there and, uh, yeah. So hopefully, uh, this helped you out. I definitely had a hard time finding that. So, I mean, it was just a matter of finding that event. Um, and those bugs with the, uh, power channels and stuff, it just kind of was a little bit annoying. So in the action string ID, that was kind of throwing me off too. So, but anyways, thanks for watching.